Uh, what more can you tell us about this protest and also how much or how little support this lockdown has with the public? So there were thousands of people out protesting today. I mean, I'm still now at the square where they gathered this morning. They moved earlier today, but now about a few hundred people are still here. It's quite friendly. There's music playing, but there is riot police on standby and the police have cleared the field. So it looks like there will be another intervention because, as you said, there is an emergency order in place, which means people are not allowed to gather here. Now, people have been chanting things like freedom. They want the country to open up. They're not wearing masks. They're not socially distancing, which is why this protest was banned by the mayor. Um, and of course, it's not the first time that we've seen these kind of protests in the Netherlands. Last year in January, they met at this very place, the Museum Plain in Amsterdam weekly to, as they call it, drink coffee, which means they're not protesting, they're just hanging out. Uh, but that usually ended with violent clashes with the police. And when the Netherlands went into a partial lockdown at the end of November, then, of course, we also saw a violent response with riots in Rotterdam. So uh, although it's a very small minority of people, most people are complying by COVID measures, there is this very vocal minority which continues to protest very, very strongly. Mm -hmm. Now, this current lockdown, which closed all non-essential businesses, it's set to last through at least January 14th. What's the state of COVID infections now a few weeks after uh, this lockdown went into effect? So Omicron is now dominant in the Netherlands. 80% of infections in Amsterdam are now Omicron infections. Um, but the good news is that the number of infections is rising, but the number of people in hospital is decreasing. Now, that's important because that is the very reason that this country went into that lockdown on the 18th of December to relieve the pressure on the healthcare system where the intensive care units were filling up very, very rapidly. Also, it was to buy time for a booster campaign. The Netherlands was very late to this game, only starting on the 18th of November. And they had this ambitious target of giving everyone a shot before the end of January, everybody that wants to. Uh, now, so far, we're at about 20% of um, people are receiving that booster shot. That's lagging very much behind if you look at the rest of Europe. But they are putting more than a million jabs in arms across the country. And the logistical campaign to keep that going is gearing up. Now, if that's enough, We'll find out tomorrow. There'll be a press conference by the government to declare whether schools will be able to reopen their doors next week or whether this lockdown looks set to continue for even longer.